Hey friends, welcome to another episode of Generation Tech. My name is Ben. Last time we looked at the five worst jobs in Star Wars. Now let's look at what many may consider to be the five best. First up, we have a hut crime lord. If you're the kind of person who enjoys mafia movies, then this profession could be for you. Most huts were crime lords, engaging in spice smuggling, slavery, gambling, and bounty hunting, and it made them rich. Forget 50 Cent's 19 bedroom mega mansion with indoor pool, games room, movie theater, and quote, substantial nightclub. Jabba the Hutt could afford his own palace with exotic dancers, a band, a throne, and his enemies hung on the wall. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Mayweather. See if you can get the actual McGregor frozen and hung up on the wall in your house, huh? And so what if Jabba's palace doesn't really get good sunlight or has a cave or sewer-like feel? The sun on Tatooine is really bright anyway. You might want to come inside and rest your eyes in the cool interior of this traditionally inspired hut dwelling. Which comes complete with basement, its own sail barge, and easy access to the Dune Sea. Next up, we have the Jedi. These were the Shaolin monks of the Star Wars universe. Sure, you had to give up a lot, like love, property, etc. But once you'd completed your training, no one would mess with you. And if they did, you just cut off their hand. The Jedi got to travel the galaxy on exciting missions and command legions of clone troopers. Their favorite colors were green, blue, and sometimes purple. If you're into the relaxation arts like yoga, tai chi, or meditation, you'd probably also really love the Jedi arts, which focus on relaxation, breathing, and meditation. But sorry hippies, this is a serious organization, and not just anyone can get in. Jedis are trained from a young age due to their high force sensitivity. After arduous training, they become Padawans, then Jedi Knights, and finally, if they are chosen, they will become a Jedi Master. Next, Dark Jedi. These were Jedi who had fallen to the dark side, or they hadn't joined the Sith, or they were Force sensitives who'd started their training under other dark Jedi. They basically roamed the galaxy using their Force powers to have fun, earn money, or stir up trouble. Which, let's face it, is basically what you would do if you had Jedi powers, isn't it? I mean, a lightsaber could pretty easily melt through any bank vault. Since they weren't Sith, they didn't degenerate and become ridiculously ugly looking. Look, here's a Sarge Ventress pulling off a wonderful Sinead O'Connor look. So they had the best of both worlds. They also didn't have Mace Windu or Master Yoda constantly criticizing them for being too emotional. Next, we have the Monarch of Naboo. On Naboo, they elected their monarch, so technically anyone had a chance, but in reality, they mostly elected young girls because of their purity. All you had to do was go to Harvey Weinstein's hotel room and Moving on, the job came with an extensive collection of royal gowns, a large staff including body doubles to stop you getting assassinated, an incredible palace with grand staircase, council chambers, movie theater, significant nightclub, games room, and a hangar full of starships. The only downsides to this profession were the occasional invasion to deal with and being hit on by teenage Jedi. Please don't look at me like that. Other than that, pretty cushy job. And lastly, we have a Canto Bite arms dealer. These guys sell to both First Order and the Resistance, so they don't have to pick a side in any conflict. They can keep everyone happy, kind of like the Swiss. Is that like the Swiss? I mean, they sell weapons all over the world to anyone who will purchase. They hang out on Canto Bite in the corporate sector of the Outer Rim, kind of like the Monte Carlo of the Star Wars universe, where they can engage in all kinds of fun gambling games, hook up with busty opera singers, and watch llama races. There's also a strict dress code of just black and white, Obviously, this lady didn't get the memo. And remember, in Canto Bite, you can't park on the beach. Those two, I said, this is a public beach. You can't park that shuttle here. Well, guys, that's it for our five best jobs in Star Wars. Do you agree with this list? There are probably five more, to be honest, that would be really cool too. Leave your comments below which one is your favorite. I kind of like the idea of being a Jedi, but, you know, that's probably what everyone would say, isn't it? Anyway, please subscribe if you're new, give this video a like, and if you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.